Hi, I'm Megan, and I play a mean game of Scrabble. Good to know, but that's not the biggest headline maker from Megan's brand new variety cover story, not by a long shot. Just one month after Meghan and Harry's surprise reunion with William and Kate in London, the Duchess of Sussex is breaking her silence on her relationship with the late Queen Elizabeth. Quote, I continue to be proud to have had a nice warmth with the matriarch of the family. It's been a complicated time, but my husband, ever the optimist, said now she's reunited with her husband. Of course, there is still fallout from Meghan and Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah that exposed and compounded their rift with the royal family. Meghan says she felt uncomfortable at an event a few days after it aired, but friends put her at ease. Today, there's new drama swirling around the show where she got her TV break. Deal or no deal. Megan, open the case. I was thankful for the job, but not for how it made me feel, which was not smart. Megan spoke out on her Archetypes podcast. There was a very cookie cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. It was solely about beauty and not necessarily about brains. Being reduced to this specific archetype, the word Bimbo. On that note, I reached out to Claudia Jordan, with whom I co-hosted Miss Universe in 2009. She was also a deal or no deal model. And she told me this, intelligent women can have a period of time when they do jobs that are not purely based on their intellect, but based on their looks. There's plenty of Miss America contestants that were brilliant. She said I sat next to Stacey Gardner, who had just passed the bar. Megan also talks about her TV past in her new Variety interview, admitting she had fears all through season one of Suits. Take notes, I'm not gonna repeat myself. I was convinced I was gonna get recast all the time. While she says she'll never act again, she revealed that her company with Harry, Archwell, is looking at producing shows based on Harry's Invictus games and maybe even a scripted romantic comedy. Yes! 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 My favorite rom-com of all time is When Harry Met Sally, but you put Julia Roberts in anything and I'm gonna be a fan of those too. Yeah, I think we all miss just a really good, a good laugh. I just want a good old-fashioned rom-com. She says that she and Harry love to hit the drive through at California's legendary In-N-Out Burger as they drive back home to Archie and Lilibet. I've become that mom where I'm like sitting around with friends and I start singing like, Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus. Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus. What am I singing? Oh my gosh, I'm singing Storybox. I'm singing Storybox. I am not singing Beyonce in that moment. I'm singing Storybox. Part of what I find a lot of strength or faith in is looking at my kids. I know it sounds so cheesy, but my gosh, it's the most perspective building thing.